Hey everybody, this is Aaron Whitehead. Welcome to Learn to Play the Piano. In this short video, we're going to focus on the song Haven't Met You Yet by Michael Buble. And let's start by taking a look at the range of our, each hand. The left hand will play in this range, and the right hand will play in this range. For now, we're going to focus on the intro. And the chords we're going to play in our right hand are C in second inversion, surrounding middle C, F major 7, and then G major in root position. And when we play through this in the context of the song, we're going to do C major for four beats, the F major 7 for eight beats, and then we're going to go back to C major again for two beats, and then to the G major for two beats. So when we play that, it's going to sound like this. And I suggest practicing through that numerous times till you really got it, because when you try putting both hands together, it's going to be extremely difficult. Now let's take a look at the left hand. The left hand starts basically on a C major chord. We're going to play C, and then jump up to G, and then come back down to the E, this leading to the note F. From here we work in small clusters of notes. Starting from the F, we go down F, E, D. Now going back to the F, we go up F, G, A. And now we're going to walk back down a C chord with a D added in between the E and the C, playing the G twice on our way down, like this. And when we put this all together, it will be very important that we get it down in time or with rhythm. So if you have a metronome or something to keep time, that would be a great way to practice. Here I'm going to use a simple click and pay careful attention to how long each note is held. And feel free to practice right along with me to make sure that you got it. And that last C that I played is actually the beginning of the next section when you repeat it. So it continues to cycle over itself. Now I'm going to show you how it goes with both hands together. I'm actually going to do it two times. The first time really slow so that you can see how the chords in the right hand and the notes in the left hand line up. After that I'll play it more up to speed. I suggest that you practice each part, the right hand and the left hand, numerous times before you try putting them together. If you try combining them before you have each hand mastered, you're just going to get frustrated. So take your time and really work out each part separately. Okay, here we go. This is how it sounds with both hands together. And again, that last C is actually the beginning of the repeat. Okay, so now here it is, more up to speed. And I hope you've enjoyed this short lesson. And if you did, please check out our website to purchase our book or any one of our video lessons. You also might find our interactive apps helpful, which are available on iTunes or Google Play. And if you haven't done so already, please take a moment right now to subscribe to our channel. Thanks, God bless, and see you next time.